Hello you guys, so I didn't know if I was going to be able to make this video because I've been very very busy with school and I just found out that this apartment has termites. So uh, they said they were going to work on it. I'm supposed to leave my place in uninhabited for like a week or something, but they weren't really sure when they were going to do it. So I wasn't really sure if I should decorate or not because I'm supposed to clear everything out. Uh, out of the living room, which is my only really main space in this apartment. So I just didn't know because I was supposed to decorate already. So I called them today. I spoke with the um, maintenance guy and I asked him if he could like work on it after October, maybe like in the beginning of November. And he said yes. So I guess I have the green light to decorate. I did some Halloween shopping, um, but nothing too much because I'm going to use a lot of the stuff that I have already. And before I start this video, I'm going to share with you my um, theme for this year. So I've decided to go with a Dracula slash vampire theme. I might call it Dracula's Castle or the Vampire's Den, something like that. I think it's going to be a little difficult because a lot of people think that my place looks like a vampire's apartment already like very Dracula-ish, so I really have to be extra creative. I have to bring in the gore and the Halloween to make it more like, you know, something that doesn't look like my normal apartment. Anyway, so I did some shopping and let me show you guys what I found. And this is all for my apartment. Okay, up first it's this, um, 99 cent stores, and this was 99 cents only. How cool is this? Look at the details, look at those skulls down there. I have a thing for busts, I really love busts, um, it's just something about them. And of course you know how the 99 cent stores, you have to like really look and choose which one looks best. Some paint, some of them are like painted really badly. <clears throat> so this one was the most decent one that I found. And this is what the back looks like, really really well made. And now we have this one. Another bust, he looks very vampiric. He could be one of Dracula's friends or something. And he is really cool. He looks really nice. And finally with the bust, I got this one. This is my least favorite, but he looks still really cool. I really liked that bat down there. See, again, I had to like really choose which one was the best looking one. He looks like a count of some sort. <clears throat> some kind of old world count and this is Dracula himself this was from last year's and of course he'll definitely go well look at that bat right there and it says Dracula another really cool bust from from last year and then I mean Nine and Cent stores always seems to come through for me uh, without me really wanting them to but it seems like they kind of know what I want and look what I found. This is really, really cool. I mean, that's like a young Dracula or something. I mean, he is definitely going to, um, you know, fit in well with my decor for this year. And this is what they look like. See, it comes in like assortment. Um, and I could show you one here. Look at that. So I'm going to be using a lot of portraits, a lot of pictures and stuff. So this, he will probably be the main centerpiece. Um, 99 cent stores only for $1, you can't beat that. Really great quality, so it feels really hard. Um, and you have Frankenstein there. I, I probably won't use Frankenstein though. So that was it for my haul for this year. So I'm just going to show you guys stuff that I have already or that I bought last year. I bought this last year from the Dollar Tree, and how cool is that? And this is what it's supposed to look like when you unfold him. That's again Dracula himself. Um, I'll probably have a lot of Dracula all over, but just different poses. And as we all know, I guess Dracula or vampires are supposed to be like really vain. So I'm assuming he likes having his, photo his photograph all over like his castle or something. And I got this one last year too from the Dollar Tree. And 
and this is what she looks like when unfolded. So she could be one of Dracula's mistresses or something, so she'll fit in really well with my decor. And I think I've shown you this a, a while back. I got this from the 99 cent stores as well. They're just pictures. I don't know if I'm going to use this. This seems more like, I mean, it could be vampiric, but it looks more zombie-ish too. I don't know, I'll think about it. And I'm definitely going to use him. He looks like another version of Dracula or something from the 99 cent stores. He changes, see? He turns into like a Nos Nosferatu looking character. I'll be using her. She, I got her from Michael's like two years ago. It's another lenticular. Um, those of you who have read uh, vamp, uh, interview, interview with the Vampire, she kind of recognized... Um, I, I would think she would look like Claudia or something, the way I imagine her to look like. Um, so she'll fit in really well. And I got these last year also from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using a lot of coffins as well. I don't know if I'm going to be putting all these items to use. And this is what it looks like inside. That's one coffin. And this is another version of a coffin, a smaller one. And then this one says, rest in peace. Really cool designs. And that's a skeleton in there. I got all this last year. I already was thinking about what I would do and I got them all. And I'm going to be using a lot of bats, of course. Um, I got this one from Ross a long time ago, but I just never used it. I knew it was going to come in handy one of these days. And these are just some more bats from the Dollar Tree. I think from last year as well. That's really cool. Um, and then I have more of uh, Dracula slash vampire portraits. This is for a mirror. Definitely going to come in handy. I'm going to use him as well. And then one of my U YouTube friends um, gifted me with these really cool um, arts that she made. So she looks like a vampire. She looks like a vampire's mistress. Perhaps one of Dracula's. And this looks like another blood-sucking vampire. And this one. Thanks, Rosie Moonmay. Hope all is well with you. Here's another coffin. This one, it's out all year round. I have my um, Q-tips in here, my cotton swabs. See? And I'm going to be using these as well. I only have three left, so three broke already. They fell or something. I used to have six of them. Um, these are really nice looking, so really cool. And I'm also going to use this one. Look at that awesomeness. It's a welcome sign. I was almost going to sell this one, but I just didn't. I, I held on to it. I'm glad I did. Um, I was just going through some stuff one day, and I just thought, you know, I didn't want to sell it. Look at that. And, it, and it's going to come in handy this year. And this is one of my favorite coffins that I have. Look at that. Look at the t details on this thing. Very, very Dracula-ish. And when you open it, this is what it looks like inside. Really, really well made. Look at all that, those bats there. And inside is the man himself. Dracula in all his sleeping glory. Well, he looks to be awake there, but that is really cool, I think. Look at that. And he comes in his coffin. And I normally use this for Christmas. I have a few of them. However, I've never used it for Halloween and they definitely look like a vampire theme kind of, you know, crosses. Uh, I'm definitely going to use these. When I think of Dracula's castle or a vampire, I think really old. So I'm going to use like a lot of maybe old keys. I got this from Joanne's like two years ago. It wasn't in their Halloween section, it was just in their one of their 
aisles or something. They had a sale and I got these keys. It still has the tags on them. And I'm going to be using more keys. Um, these are really old looking keys. And I possibly will be using like a lot of gargoyles as well. I got him like um, maybe two years ago as well from Rite Aid. He was in their summer sale. I guess he's supposed to be long outside, but I picked him up because he looks really cool. Um, he was really cheap, by the way. He was 70% off Rite Aid. And this is one of my tombstones that I have. I got this from Target like a long, long time ago. I managed to hold on to him. He's really cool. I think if I put them together, look at that. That's really awesome, right? Um, I got these from Michaels again, maybe like two years ago. I got two of them. I just really like how they look. These are really cool. And then I got these candles from World Market last year. I got it from their after Halloween sale. And totally will be cool to use for my decor. Look at that. Really cool, right? And look what I just found. I mean, you never know what's going to be in your boxes when you go through that. I, I never even knew I had this. Look at that. That's Dracula himself. Really cool, right? So definitely go through all your stuff. You just never know. And last but not least, um, I'm definitely going to be using this. Look at this. This looks like the ultimate vampire slash Dracula um, jewelry holder. Um, my friends Lori, Mark, and Shell from Atlanta gifted me this piece. This is so cool. Definitely will fit into my decor. This is when your um, items can be multitasking, even though this is, um, I display this on a year-round basis, but it'll also come in handy with my Halloween decoration. And this was made by Lori. She's such a creative person. And look at that. And this is the inside of it. Awesome, that's right. So, really cool piece. So I don't know if I'm going to be using all these items, but I will try. I've shown you guys a lot of stuff and you know how small my apartment is, but we'll see though. But now you know what I'm going to be doing. Um, I, I'm glad I'm doing it because I was already really set up for this, but these damn termites almost messed up my Halloween this year. Um, and I've seen some of your videos already, really cool stuff that you've got. Um, so I'll let you know if I get any more stuff, anything that will be related to my theme or maybe just something that I would really like to have just for you know my my apartment or whatever and I think I'm going to start decorating this weekend okay um, I'll talk to you guys later bye